to defend himself, one Trump nominee is invoking the firestorm of another Trump nominee. Economist uh, Stephen Moore is up for a spot on the Federal Reserve Board, and now he says his the critics are, quote, pulling a Kavanaugh on me after major backlash over his past sexist comments. It was CNN's K-File who dug up Moore's opinion pieces from the early 2000s that argued that there should be no women in men's basketball, as announcers, as refs, as even beer vendors. This is what Moore said to a North Dakota radio program. I was so honored when I got the call from uh, from uh, Donald Trump. And, uh, you know, it's been, but, you know, all it's been since then has been one personal assault after another and a kind of character assassination having nothing to do with economics. But, you know, they're pulling a Kavanaugh against me. And so, you know, I've, I've got luck. The easy thing to do would just be throw in the towel and say, I don't need this. I'm taking a 60% pay cut to do this job. So, you know, I mean, it's true public service. Pulling a Kavanaugh, referring to the intense scrutiny that now the current Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh faced during his confirmation battle after sex assault allegations had surfaced. Uh, Moore was, until recently, we should also point out, a CNN contributor. Andrew Kaczynski is CNN's K-File senior editor. Also with us, sports radio host uh, Julie DeCaro. She won a Peabody for a video in which she highlighted the violent emails and comments that she and her female colleagues received. So thank you both for being with me and, and Andrew. Um, back to Stephen Moore, and you know, you guys have dug all the stuff up of his past writings. But has he backed off some of these comments? What has he said since? So look, he has called this. We just heard him call it a character assassination. He's called it a smear. Um, he said he's being Kavanaugh. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. If you're a nominee for a position in the government, if you need Senate approval, your record is going to get scrutinized and. I think it might say something about him um, if he believes that, you know, us posting his own words is a character assassination. Uh, but he did uh, back off of this a little bit today uh, on the Larry Elder show. Let's take a listen to that. Okay. Look, I mean, I, I wrote some uh, politically incorrect, uh, you know, columns. Look, some of them go back to like the turn of the century, you know, that were a long time ago. That, you know, I kind of wish I hadn't written. Now they certainly don't reflect my views. But it, what it is is a diversion, though. Diversion, he says. Yeah. So he's, you know, he doesn't think it's relevant to his job experience, but he is at least now uh, admitting that his columns might not have been well thought out at the time. Julie. Words matter. You, yeah, you know they all, do matter. The words matter, and you know all too well. Being a woman in the world of sports, you know, you are the kind of woman that Moore wrote about. What What would you want to say to him? Uh, do you think these views are, are shared by many or a few? I, well, unfortunately, I think the views are shared by a growing number. Um, there are just tons of, I want to say young men, but they're not all young, on social media who will look at a government official saying something like this um, and take it as validation for their beliefs that women shouldn't be in sports. And, and I think it's one thing to sort of go back through someone's Twitter feed and take a joke out of context or maybe a time they didn't express themselves well and use that against them, as opposed to columns which are thought out and, you know, proofread and, and gone over and over again. Um, you know, and it's not only his comments about women in sports, but, you know, it's his comments on, uh, you know, the gender, ga the wage gap between men and women. It's um, a, a lot of different issues involving women. And, and look, the, the issue is that sports are not just sports, right? Sports are where we work through so many of our societal issues, be it police brutality or gender equality or, you know, what have you. And to silence women when it comes to sports and sporting events and silencing women from commenting on sports is also silencing women from commenting on what's happening in this country. Mm-hmm. To try to take a, uh, what did he say, a vacation from Vacation from, from, women. from uh, women, yeah. 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 Sorry, not possible. <laughs> Julie DeCaro and Andrew Krasinski, thank you both so much. I'm so glad you've put these out there.